about uh, two th Are they were feeling worried? Yes. Act 3. Pepper and the Kite Key Experiment. Or... Zap Pow! Look at Ben now! Greetings, Poofarians! Welcome back to another episode of Pepper's Adventures in Time! With me, Poofy and Pepper! Uh, I got a book! I, I did not mean to do that. Maybe it will give us a point. I don't know. Just can we cancel it? Pepper can't use that here. Oh, check it out, Mr. Franklin. This book on electricity came for you in the mail. Oh. Okay, I couldn't read that. I'm sorry. That went fast. I did not even click anything. Uh, let's grab that tomato. Pepper carefully takes the big tomato. Alright, thank you. And now I want to speak to Ben. Ah, uh, Mr. Franklin, can I talk to you? Talk away, little dude. Words like bees are truly free. Ah, uh, oh jeez. Uncle Fred really did fry his brains. Hey, my groovy brain gives me no pain. Uh, no, but it hurts me. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Franklin, could you please help me save my dog? He was kidnapped by General Pug and his daughter. They've taken him away and... Hey, little dude mellow out. Here, take this string. I wear it to remind me to forget anything stressful. Alright, uh, thanks. But, Mr. Franklin, I really need to get my dog back. Can you help me? Please. As a fellow human being, I can't refuse. Here, read my doctrine of personal mellowness. It helps you come to grips with your hostility, you dig? I don't want to come to grips with my hostility. I want my dog. I chill out at your dog's destiny to be with the pugs. Peace, baby. Uh, are you a douchebag, Ben? Is that the case? Are you a douchebag right now? Uh, let me see. I gotta walk. There. To the beast. So Ben wasn't really helpful. Oh, it's back again. Who cares? <laughs> it's so stupid. I, I didn't even... There's something wrong with the game, apparently. Let's take that blue thing. What is it? I want to know. It is a... Pepper picks up the schematic for the kite key experiment. Oh, so he... Maybe if I show this to Ben, he'd get out of his hot tub and stop acting like a fruit bed. Well, that sounds like a good plan. Let me see if we can take something else. Pepper doesn't need any of those things. Pepper needs... Pepper, trust me, Pepper needs things from that bin. Pepper takes one of the rubber stoppers. She doesn't think Ben will miss it in his present condition. I don't think so too. Cool, this just looks... Holy shit. Cool. This looks like just what I need. I don't... Oh, you, you picked them both up. Yikes, the magnet stuck to my buttons. Ha! I knew I had a magnetic personality, but this is ridiculous. Okay. So let's let's show that schematic to Ben then. Right? Maybe, uh, maybe he will. Who cares? Maybe he will do the experiment. At least we can try. So we need to go to our inventory. And is, uh, these are the schematics, I believe. Ben! Ben! Got something for you, Ben! Mr. Franklin! Look what I have! It's a schematic for your famous kite key experiment. I found it in your workroom. That's nice, child. You keep it. 
I'm totally beyond science now. I'm into cosmic consciousness, you dig? Go meditate in the cabbage patch, okay? Cosmic consciousness, my foot. It looks like a cosmic couch potato to me. What did you say, child? The music of the universe was filling my ears, so I didn't hear you. I said, if I find the stuff for the experiment, will you show me how it works? Please, Ben, please. Well, after I've had my nap, perhaps, on second thought, I don't think I'll feel like it. This water is so cold, it's ruining my relaxation. Ah, uh, if I get you some more hot water, will you help me then? Well, I... Hot water, uh, This tub is really getting cold. All right, sure, kid. I'll do whatever you say if you get me some more hot water. So we need to get hot water from somewhere. Um, I think we are heading back inside again. I mean, there's no other way to go, right? You can uh, meditate in the cabbage patch, but... Who cares? Come on. And I'm gonna head south, and that will probably bring us another who cares? It's every time we load it. Yeah, there you go. Every time we load a screen, the memory gets fragmented. I broke the game. Right, so I want those matches. Can I? Ding. Hmm, those matches look like they'd be useful. Maybe I'll just borrow a couple. Uh, what is it you need, lad? So that was a weird voice. Oh, I was gonna, just gonna get the matches. Why for, friend? The fire has gone out. I just thought I'd light it for you. Forgive me, friend, but I think not. My mother gave me strict instructions not to light the fire. I'm not to give father any hot water, you see. Mother said the only reason I should light the fire was in case of an emergency. Thank you for your kind offer, anyway. So that didn't work. Right, well, what do you have to tell us then, Sally? Miss Franklin, what do you think about your parents' strange behavior? Oh, I, ah, uh, I'm worried about them, of course. Papa has been so strange of late, and Mama is always gone. Where do you suppose your mother goes, Sally? I only wish I knew. I know her very nature, though, and I fear for her safety. She'd walk right up to General Park and swat him. She thought it would help Papa. Okay, weird. Well, I, I know a trick, because uh, emergency, that means blood, right? Use the tomato. An emergency, huh? I'll give her an emergency. <laughs> oh. oh no, I've been shot. Oh, help, I cut myself. Ow, ow, I'm dying, I'm dying. <laughs> Overactor. Eek. Oh no, what did you do? How did you do that? Oh, what should I do? Quick, boil some water. Ow, ow. Hurry before I uh, get an infection and die! Water, right! Oh my goodness, my goodness! <laughs> Is she? Whoa, okay. So, now, can I get some water? Who cares? Ben! There you go. Ah, oh, that feels wonderful! Oh, I can feel my aura turning purple! Okay, now you'll help me with the cart key experiment, right? But child, I don't have any of the things I need to do the experiment. I've left all the worldly stuff behind. Cosmic consciousness, remember? Deal's a deal, Mr. Franklin, you promised. <sighs> Alright, lad. If you find and bring me all the items for the experiment, I'll show you how to do it. All right, thanks. So we're gonna, we, we need to find the stuff and ignore all the memory fragmented bits. Who cares? And there will be a couple of them. Who cares? 
Right. Oh, I went uh, too far. Are they uh, feeling worried? Yes. Something like that. <laughs> I couldn't actually read it. <laughs> oh, man. What is there? I wonder what's in here. Um, can I pick that one up? Can I also pick that up? Pepper doesn't need a stack of recipe cards. She can't even boil water without burning it. Sounds like me. That's a lie. I can cook. I can cook. I think I just borrowed this recipe card. I wonder what's on it. <laughs> there we go again. Memory fragmented. Who cares? Whoa, what's going on? I feel funny! What is going on? Whoop. Who cares? Or should I try a debug? I don't know. Oh no. Gonna get ya! Gonna pull you right out of there! Here it comes, here it comes! Gotcha! Oh, no! I sent her to Ben Franklin's boyhood. Oh, red noses! More power! I must give the machine more power! Who cares? <laughs> oh boy, we are in the past. We are actually in the past. I don't know, Ethan! My theory was not quite correct. I swim faster with the puddles, but they wear me out. I'm dock tired. Oh, uh, well, it was a fine idea, Ben. Hey, Ethan, could you fetch me my clothes? I'm freezing. Sure, my friend. Oh no, Ben, they're gone. Somebody stole them. Oh, Ethan, don't tell me that. I have to go home and make candles for my father. The night watch just put it put in another big order. Tell you what, Ben, I'll run home and see what I can find for you. Wait here. <sighs> Where would I go, my friend? Ben Franklin, I am the ghost of Panama Pete. I've taken your clothes to warm my cold white bones. Who, who is that? Yikes! <laughs> yeah, run, you little twat. Twat. Darcy, Hancock, you goose! I should have guessed it was you behind this mischief. Come out from behind that rock and give me my clothes. Never! My pa gave me a hiding for what you done. What I done? Ah, uh, did? Darcy, you were stealing from my father's shop. I had to stop you. You made your own trouble. Well, your pile give you a hiding when you don't get back in time to do your chores. And that will be even. If you want your clothes so bad, then come out and get them. Or are you afraid of me? Afeared. It says afeared. Afeared of me. I daren't, you big lamox. What if a lady came by? Oh, you fancy the ladies, don't you, Ben? You'd best shut your trap, Darcy. Or I'll box your ears when I get out. Don't think I won't. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots, I am. <laughs> and there we are. Uh, are we a lady? Let me see. <laughs> there, I was looking for me, but... Uh, hi, you sure look like Ben Franklin. I am Ben Franklin, friend, old bait. I may look more like a fish right now. Say, could you help me with my yonder fat with Darcy Hancock? Aye. You bet. I'll get your clothes back for y'all. Go right over there and kick his. No, lad, don't kick him. Violence should be the last resort, not a first choice. Besides, he's much bigger than you are. You look like a clever lad. Perhaps you could talk him into giving up my clothes. I, I should talk to him? Are, are, you, are you sure? I don't know. I don't know. 
Oh man, this thing is nasty. What is it? It's a picnic cloth. Where's my inventory? There. It's a picnic cloth. Let's turn into a ghost. How about a taste of your own medicine, you big dork? <laughs> Who dares use my name? Who dares? What? I am the real ghost of Panama Pete, you foolish mortal imposter! You spoke my name, so I've risen to drink your blood! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There's nothing I like better than a plump, juicy boy! I I think I'll eat your liver with corn chips and a nice cream soda. <laughs> Mommy! Oh, help, he's after me! Yeah, run, you little twat. <laughs> I didn't know that Lung could run so fast. Truly, friend, was worth the discomfort just to see it. Throw me my clothes, would you? To do me the honor of coming home for supper. Tain't fancy, but you're welcome to it. Jeez, thanks, Ben. So, should I give him his clothes? Give me, pick him up. Come on. I'll just uh, pick up your clothes, Ben. Yikes, he's naked in there. Yeah, he is naked. Here you go, Ben. Thanks. I'll just get out and dry off. Right, so what are we going to do now? I'll just wait for you behind this rock. Who cares? Later that night, after dinner with Ben and his family, I'm finishing up my chores, friend. I'll be out in a moment. All right, Ben. Sure. Ben? Ben? Ben. 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 Could be rude of Pepper to just go wandering around the Franklin's private rooms. That's correct. I want a pipe. Pepper doesn't need the ink horn. She prefers ballpoint pens. It's, it's a pipe. Pepper would love to read the colonial newspaper, but she doesn't have time. She needs to get out of here and find Lockjaw. How can you not have time? You are traveling time. You're traveling through time. Pepper doesn't want to take Ben's school books. He needs them. You have loads of time. Pepper doesn't need a bucket. Ah, uh, what's this? Pepper doesn't want to search the Franklin's wastebasket. Sure. Pepper doesn't want to touch the lie. It would burn her hand. There's Ben. Hello. Thanks again for dinner, Ben. That was really good. I'm glad you... Oh, I'm glad if you enjoyed the mush, my friend. Mother would have made roast beef if she hadn't been expecting you. Hey, which is my favorite, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it? You say things strangely, friend, but speaking of sweating, I'd better start making candles. The Night Watch put in a huge order this morning and they'll be expecting them tonight. Ugh, the smell. I hate candle making. What a drag. Oh, I won't have to drag them. The watch will pick them up here. I'll just light the fires, get out the wicks, and then... Oh no! What? Shh! I forgot to buy wicks in town today. My father skinned my hide if he finds out. I'll just sneak back out for a few minutes and... Benjamin? Yikes! Y yes, father? Did you buy wicks when you were in town, didn't you? I, um... Um... Benjamin Franklin, if you forgot again, so help me, I'll switch you till you can't sit down for a fortnight. Uh, just a moment, father, I'm looking for them. Friend, 
I don't suppose you have any wig, do you? I'll be eternally grateful if you can help me. Um, I, I do have a string, buddy. I do have one there. Should would you like it? Yeah, will this work? Oh, bless you. We'll soon find out. Excuse me, friend. Yeah, I just saved your butt, man. Here, father. It, um, uh, what was with my school books? Good grief, boy. There's not very much here, is there? Well, uh, you see, I, um... Oh, never mind. Twill do, son. Just glad you didn't forget. Now go tell your friend good night. You've much work to do this night. Yes, father. That's how things were back then, right? Thank you, my friend. I thought I was cat's meat. Here, take this kite as a token of my gratitude. Oh, I can't. Nonsense, take it. Thank you, Ben. Think nothing of it. So, shall we go out and fly tomorrow morning? We can go swimming if the day grows too hot. Well, uh, <laughs> I really don't think... Yikes! Oh, oh. By my father's whiskers, it's too hot in the shop. Who cares? <laughs> right. Oh, wow. That was bizarre. Jeez, I hope I'm all here. Right, so we ended back in the, the future past. Past future. And um, I, I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget. For don't forget. So leave a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to become a patron, there's a link down there in the description that will help me out very much. And I hope to see you next time. But for now, I salute you.